What's up, motherfucker? It's that time of the year, nigga. When I did that wanna blow all video, nigga, I came back up with some shit. So, nigga, my neck of Namakon niggas, they about the action and they here to get busy. So, nigga, I'm gonna let them niggas get busy. You see it, nigga, Cthulhu, and all the hotel, bar, all that shit, nigga, activated online, ready to do that work, ready to do my bidding. With that being said, Mars is in the gelatin. You can look at this third dimensional reality with the analogy of being the gelatin. And the Mars is in the motherfucking gelatin will be yours truly, or one of. So we dealing with aspects of doorways, interdimensional gateways, or hyperversal gateways into what you come to understand or believe as your everyday reality. And the consequences of having DMT trips your own personal DMT trips going throughout the omniverse, the hyperverse, and shit like that. And what happens when you pierce the veil, the consequences of that is, creates leaks, creates openings, thinnies, that is referred to within the Dark Tower lore or Stephen King's mythology as doorways for entities or interdimensional monsters, preternatural entities. To take root, to have a access points. So when motherfuckers is taking these DMT trips, not realizing what comes with that, not realizing that there is no more barriers that's separating this world into other realms, so to speak. And a few of the things I want to talk about. There are individuals on this planet, like I told you, that's not what you think. That's not here for hotel. That's not here for watching niggas come together and, and, and saving the day. That's not here to be <laughs> whatever nigga utopia you got in your mind. There's motherfuckers that's not here for that. That look just like you. But far older. They look just like you. But it's not. Something else. Something totally evil. Not evil in the way you understand, but evil in a way of this just what it is. Something that's totally preternatural or unnatural to your everyday world. To how the rules and the limitations and restrictions that, that is placed upon any entity or being that takes form within a third dimensional existence. I'm one of them. Sorcerers. Ancient sorcerers. That's talked about within Don Juan. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That old shamanistic type of shit. Dealing with the Carlos Castaneda. That old type of shit. Dealing with the, his books. Outside Infinity and whatever. I might have fucking misinterpreted the, one of the books but you get it. That, that type of shit. And one of the things, a, fuck, a couple of things that happens that occurs within a sensitive mind of my own when I when people just go about having DMT trips, LSD interfaces with entities and magical elves or machine elves and DMT when you do that when people do that and they pierce that veil of separation first thing I want to thank you for, for, for the attention on psychedelics, the attention on Knowing or having the inner awareness and experience of this world not being the only one that you can exist in or the only one that you can explore or have a uh, uh, to partake in. I want to thank you for that because that attention, that focus that you put on that and people investigating, people looking into it leads to people taking psychedelics, which leads to individuals taking psychedelics, opening up this veil, ripping it apart and creating reservoirs of unlimited potential and unlimited energy to be filtered through the minds of individuals such as myself who are psychic, who are open and waiting for what's coming, what's on the other side of this, because that's where we at on the other side of this, and what's on the other side of this is unbridled chaos, 
is unbridled, unlimited potential. And what and due to me being sensitive to that, due to me being open to that, I redirect that energy. I, I absorb it. I conserve it. I use it to fuel everything that it is that I'm doing. So a mind such as myself, all of a sudden will have a new ability, would have a key inspiration to being able to tap into or to embody a new principality, a new concept, or a mutated form of a concept such as communication. I may take the form or the idea of communication and, and use that to filter through social media and watch it mutate. Next thing you know, I'm, it's Neuralink. Everybody got a Neuralink as far as like brain interface with technology and dealing with shit like that. That may be an idea or inspiration that I may see. And then next thing you know, it's manifested as something that Elon Musk all of a sudden got the creative team and scientists to come together and create. And it is. But where did they get the idea from? Who sparked the inspiration? You see what I'm saying? Who's sparking the inspiration and the idea or attention that's placed on all these black hole clusters that they keep noticing throughout the cosmos? Right? That type of shit. And being able to filter this energy and use this energy in any way, shape, or form because we're sorcerers. We take shit, we take lemons, and we make lemonade out of it. There's no rule books to this, but the ones that you set for yourself and how you interface with, with that energy and what you what your intention that you place on that energy, how powerful that energy is, because it is powerful. But it's up to you to what you do with it. I use the energy to filter my alchemical transformation, first and foremost. We all know that. It's documented. But other things that I use it for is to penetrate your subconscious mind and give you the inspiration or idea to click on my video. And it is done. Am I right? Also, using that inspiration, using the inspiration to create an idea, a spark of hmm, within a mind to be able to observe something that's in outer space that I caused. I told you, outer space is inner space. And how you manipulate the cosmos, you have to manipulate the cosmos that exists within you. And you gotta go way past the subconscious mind to do that. You gotta go to the superconscious mind. You gotta go within the idea sphere. That's surrounding, that's permeating the, the atmosphere of the planet. You got to embody and become a meme. An idea. Which is the most insidious parasite in creation. You got to encompass that. You got to use that to manipulate Zarg. To manipulate the collective unconscious mind of humanity. That's documented and talked about in the books of Carl Jung that's documented and talked about in the books Excalibur Briefing from T Lieutenant Thomas Bearden talked about a, a number of books when it comes to hyperversal communication when it comes to coupling and linking dimensional gateways at 90 degree angles and watching them open up using carrier waves like photons to not only Activate your own DNA or to turn it on, but use that to send a message throughout the planet with a fucking flashlight, which is a photon, which is information, which is a motherfucking weapon in the hands of a sorcerer, a monster. And I can have my intention set on whatever it is, and I can beam it into the sun, and that everybody, the sunlight is all over the planet. And everybody, every biological life form, everything on this planet is going to be permeated with whatever carrier wave message that I am embedded by sending it into the sun and sending it into your genetic structure, to your mind, into your environment. Next thing you know, you're coming up with shit. Damn, man. I keep seeing all these goddamn fucking rogue trucks and shit. Man, I keep seeing this Dino shit everywhere. Man, everything, everywhere I look, I see Sidious and Star Wars is talking about. Man, everywhere I look, I see, you know what I'm saying, Disney Plus and shit like that. You saw my altar, which is a vortex. Look at all the attention LeBron James is getting, having the MVP uh, first start of the season and shit. I told you weeks ago about that type of shit. All over my altar. So, ask the question. 
would any of these ideas be downloaded within the minds of the individuals paying attention to them if it wasn't for me manipulating the collective unconsciousness? Or would they have come about that shit only with my inspiration? I'll leave that open to interpretation. You figure it out. So when these doorways are opened up, an individual like me, when we get an influx of ideas, we get an influx of creativity, we get an influx of weapons, for lack of a better word, stuff for me to take and put shape to, or for me to take to put order to, chaos. Chaos energy is what I'm getting when this happens. And that can lead to me getting the inspiration to cause an earthquake. Get the inspiration for individuals to come up with the H.P. Lovecraft verse. Color Out of Space. Coming out next or in, in January. Pay attention to it. Nicholas Cage. May get the inspiration of a number of different things that you would notice in your everyday environment on the news. And you would think nothing of it. Yet it will be caused by a sorcerer. A sorcerer such as myself. And we just watch our fruits bear before us through social media, through topics of discussion. You see what I'm saying? Being able to mimic, clone the, your everyday normal behaviors, your everyday normal thought patterns, and to watch you on a YouTube video speak the specific sequence of words that I embedded you to speak or I reprogrammed you to speak. Why? What? For what? Due to the carrier wave that you got picked up. You may be in Georgia, you may be in Florida, you may be in Texas, you may be in California. The list goes on. No matter where you at, you're going to be under the influence of my carrier wave because you're getting the carrier wave coming through the sun, photon. That's going to fuel your trees, you're going to breathe the air, you see where I'm going with this. Those are some of the things that we're able to do. And we just... Watch our grand experiment take fruit, take place. You see what I'm saying? This is this is some other shit. You're not going to hear this nowhere else. You see what I'm saying? And understanding that not only are they opening up dimensional gateways, and these, these barriers really don't exist anymore, but now... More than ever, due to the attention that's placed on this, on psychedelics, on DMT and shit like that, I'm becoming stronger. I'm becoming more powerful, more powerful than I've ever dreamed of. This is the moment I was waiting on. I don't know what the fuck you niggas waiting on. The moment I was waiting on is when I motherfucking did everything that there was for me to do as far as my alchemical transfer transformation and coming up with new and elaborate abstract ways of gaining more power you see what I'm saying this is not no Luciferian shit this is not no Goetia shit right this shit not no book this type of shit that I'm on that you hearing exclusive coming from this nigga is some shit I experienced for myself and I pulled the resources through the parallel reality, through the parallel universes, and filtered that shit here within me. And now I'm able to display and speak to you what it is that I've fucking done, what it is that I'm doing, and what it is that I'm going to keep doing on this motherfucker. I'm a new paradigm. This ain't the old nigga. This that new shit. This the age of Aquarius type shit. And I am Aquarius. You see what I'm saying? We ain't dealing with no... Shit that's out no book, nigga. We write new books. This is something totally different. This is some singularity type of shit. Check it out. So, in gaining more power comes is activated more memory. More memory is going to activate more, unlock more potential. That's going to take already the, the unlimited and no restriction that I have and push that shit even beyond the concept of the definition of restriction, of limitation. So we not working, I'm not working with Cthulhu. I'm not working with the Necronomicon. I'm not working with a, a set. I'm not working with Lucifer. Nigga, I am. 
And that comes with a certain level of responsibility and experience. So I say those things. I stand on them. I live it. And becoming these entities, because I am, I always was. I can never not be these entities. So I don't work with them. I am them. So I can communicate with myself, compartmentalize myself as Cthulhu and observe myself as the observe the rogue titan. And I can send that nigga the rogue titan all the motherfucking influence and information and, and psionic abilities I want that that nigga can download in that moment of time. Because you don't want to just like you fucking overflowing a fucking plant with water. Nigga, you gotta you gotta understand this is a human body it has forms of limitations on it. So nigga, slowly but surely, but nigga, it's more so now than ever due to the fact that niggas like you and everybody else paying so much attention to psychic delics and understanding that there is some other shit outside of here. So you experimenting. And I need you to keep experimenting because you're gonna keep experimenting. And you're gonna keep breaking down whatever barriers that you have and exploring your own levels of potential within your reality. Because there is no barriers. Now, I say that because I know that. And I, my everyday experience is that. There's no barriers. There's no limitations. But you still have them. And the more attention you place on this shit, the more attention you place on growing, expanding, what happens? You tear shit down. So as you tear shit down, you create the, you, you destroy that barrier. That shit that you doing is being redirected and redistributed towards myself. And I thank you very much. You a pawn. In my game, think like a scientist, act like a priest. You see what I'm saying? Go back and listen to the video Beyond a Wall of Sleep, part one and two. I told you niggas about this shit. You understand who running this shit? Sorcerers just like me. I told you, I found this shit out <laughs> on my own, haphazardly. Oh, shit, damn. I ain't the only motherfucker one down here on this shit. Guess what? It's a formula that we're unknown even to ourselves. And the more and more, like I said, the more and more attention you keep placing on this shit, the more memory that's unlocked by us. And the next thing I know, the motherfucking more unlimited potential of a new goddamn ability that we even didn't even know existed or could exist will manifest before our eyes. And we have to be able to, you know what I'm saying, do something with that. Okay, we got to put used to this shit. So this ain't no about no, we, I don't give a fuck about no nigga that's out here trying to kill no white man, none of that, that shit is obsolete, and that shit is, that's the thought forms that exist for an outdated, defunct paradigm. Nigga, because there's realms, there are experiences, nigga, you are these white people. And if you're placing your attention on hating them, you hate yourself. It's cognitive dissonance right there, you don't even know it. You ain't just one thing, nigga, you everything. I don't give a fuck what you say. Whatever you say you are, that's what the fuck you are, nigga. If you think like that, nigga, you ain't shit but a, a lab rat to me, nigga. And I just use it, I just experiment on you. You know, I just watch. And I'll wait for you to speak a specific sequence of words, either through the videos you make, either through the social media memes you post. No, I'll just watch. And like a puppet, right on time, every time, you will speak. My specific sequence of words. Every time. So it's like little. Moments like that little. Eggs. Easter eggs that I see for myself. That I place. Within my dream. That manifests through you your reality. That you call reality. And I just hmm, chuckle. On to the next. You see what I'm saying? You understand the scope of this shit? There's, the scope of this shit is unlimited. You see what I'm saying? So, monsters in the motherfucking gelatin. There are monsters here. You understand what I'm saying? Something totally before, before niggas, before black people, before people, before the idea of humans, before the idea of existence was non-existence, was another form of, per se, existence. It was something totally abstract and alien to your everyday normal human comprehension. So, I segue into this shit. The shit that I've been on the last couple weeks. Oh, before I do that. 
まあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあ This motherfucker right here. Ooh, whatever. Well, y'all niggas know the name of that song and shit. But on my hyperversal travels, going within, and this motherfucker showed up months ago. I ain't tell y'all niggas this shit. Now, I got altars set up, different ones, right? And when I do meditations or I do rituals, and I change my location. I have different experiences. I, I'm, I am able to have access to different shit. And when I was doing one of my rituals, this was on the, I believe, the spring solstice. I want to say. Like in April. Equinox or some shit. And I'm traveling. Not as this. I'm under the personification. I'm under the semblance of the singularity and what I'm doing is I'm just I got I'm picking the fruits for the from the trees think of these fruits from these trees as archetypes as principalities and I'm just absorbing like a black hole I told you M87 they go I'm absorbing and one of them that I came through a lot of motherfuckers came through that I was devouring absorbing and, and, and embodying was this motherfucker right here. The Sorcerer Supreme. Himself. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. You thought I was going to say Dr. Strange. Nah. Pascal Beverly Randolph. You know him. As Dr. Strange. Sorcerer Supreme. And when he came through. I had a conversation, not through words, through symbols, of course, images, flashes, of his whole entire life experiences throughout the parallel realities that exist and that is our at sorcerer's disposal to experience and to embody and to incorporate into a singularity, this one, and to use that as the catalyst to launch us into the hyperversal throne of being the singularity throughout the hyperverse. And this motherfucker gave me so many ideas, such as the one I just described to you the moments ago. Right? His whole goddamn entire life, I lived through him as Pascal Beverly Randall with every decision, the non decision that he's made throughout the hyperverse. Having those type of ex experiences, right? Being able to remove your emotions, remove your input and in any type of prediction or outcome that you may have upon the experience of what it is to be someone else and just living it out without any form of preconceived notions. Being totally open and trusting your shit, trusting your skills, trusting your sorcery, trusting and allowing your subconscious mind to do its job, surrendering your process, surrendering your perception, thus gaining control of your perception when you're out in the hyperverse, because the rules are totally opposite. Because those rules are built on what you believe the experience it is to be had within the hyperverse. It's up to you, and no one can tell you that. You have to do it in those little moments, those little packets of moments of where you had to make a decision on madness or going into the unknown. You got to make that choice. You got to do it quick. But motherfuckers ain't activated their anterior cingulate cortex. They're not in control of their limbic system, their emotion. They're not in control of their perception of time and able to slow it down and to go through the judge and jury that is your anterior cingulate cortex and be able to differentiate or be able to filter out your emotions and decide what it is that I want to change or rearrange this experience. How am I going to utilize it? Am I going to use it for my benefit? Am I going to be fucked up by this? <sighs> I need to make a choice. And you make that choice by activating your anterior cingulate cortex and taking sub, uh, a millisecond and creating that and creating that shit and creating time to exist as an hour for you to deliberate on if you're going to embark on this or go mad or to do anything when you're in the hyperverse. I told you, nigga, to activate that shit. You got to do that shit on your own. 
You want to learn how to do it? You got to pay for that shit, nigga. Holler at me on a consultation. $25 for a half hour, $45 for an hour. Holler at me. I'm going to leave the email in the description box. Furthermore, dealing with Pasco Beverly Randolph gave me the understanding that I'm not just me. I'm everything. Just further confirmation on that because I've had prior experiences before that that gave me that confirmation and self-realization. But to understand that the reason he came to me, the reason that he came to me, I was open. And I had the nigga on my goddamn altar. And I knew through the study that Pascal Beverly Randolph used Dr. Strange to filter through the MCU as a catalyst for him to be alive, to come back in this motherfucker. That's Dr. Strange. Under the guise of Dr. Strange, that is. Nigga like me, come on. Nigga. My whole entire altar is filled with entities. Filled with monsters. You see what I'm saying? They all open. Nigga, I communicate with all of them the same, similar ways. Such as this motherfucker right here. Kirby. Swallow your dumb ass up like a black hole. They... And within that black hole... Absorbing all the information. So you got to ask yourself something. That M87 that y'all keep y'all to notice. And I noticed that shit on fucking no culturally speaking on fucking Facebook niggas over there talking about me and shit. You see it. Nigga, look at the post talking about that black hole. Nigga, I am that black hole. I told you that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you don't believe that shit. Nigga, you don't know what the fuck level of shit I'm on, nigga. I'm on some other shit. This shit ain't in no book. This shit ain't in no Apollo. This shit ain't in no Santa Maria. This is some shit you going to have to cook up yourself, my nigga. You niggas don't know the ingredients. Only I know that shit. Then I, I destroyed that shit. I destroyed the stones with the stones. That type of shit, nigga. You, nigga lock and key, nigga. I don't even know how the fuck I did it no more, nigga. So you come up with your own goddamn way to figure that shit out and embody or to remember that you are these celestial motherfucking objects. Nigga, you ain't just on earth. You everywhere. Nigga, I am. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. Nigga. A lot of you niggas talk this sorcery shit, shit but low-key to be a bitch, nigga. I'll be knowing, nigga. Anyway. But dealing with that, being able to see the attention of niggas placed on the, uh, the M87 black hole just proves my point, and I use that attention to niggas commenting on that shit. Yeah, the spirits is coming through. My ancestors coming through. Nigga, I'm just filtering that shit and absorbing that shit with no motherfucking human interpretation of what's taking place emotionally and just taking that information in, nigga, like a monster, like a black hole that absorbs information and filters out information from a two-dimensional aspect and you experience that shit as a third-dimensional reality. So energy can be created and destroyed because that shit is collected. When you die, nigga, that energy that you are, you energy, right? Where that shit going? But these goddamn super massive black holes that you see throughout the motherfucking hyperverse, throughout space. And we just collect your ass and absorb your ass into the collective, the singularity. Because I'm experiencing my motherfucking singularity experiences through each and every fucking thing within corporeal and non-corporeal existence. Every animate and inanimate object was first what before it came into existence. And I did. Something to be experienced a experience so with that thought produce this type of shit everything for me to experience experience what it is to be the fucking unlock button on this goddamn whip my man to be able to have the experience of being some motherfucking named kirby that corresponds to me being a black hole that corresponds to me absorbing information and having a childlike mindset right that type of shit for me to have the experience of being the letter y for me being the color spectrum of pink. For me being motherfucking Pascal Beverly Randolph. For me being this motherfucking goddamn blanket my daughter love. You see what I'm saying? All kind of little simple stupid ass shit that you would just disregard is weaponized and utilized holistically in the mind and experience of a sorcerer. Of a monster and a gelatin. Niggas ain't on this type of shit. Nigga. You ain't a little know it. <laughs> Nigga, he hit my email up. Like, motherfucker, I saw you with a dream, nigga. This, this, and that. I know, nigga. I'm everywhere, nigga. You in my motherfucking dream. I told you that. That's why I got I got access on this shit. Like, on some motherfucking sleep. What's that motherfucker called? Morpheus. 
Neo Gaiman, Nightmare Entity, Sleep, what the fuck, Sleepwalker, Sleep Man, whatever the fuck that is, nigga, yeah, that type of shit, nigga, I'm all goddamn awful. I'm on, I'm on my own altar, my altar is filled with nothing but my archetypes. You see him as Donald's. You see him as LeBron James. You see him as the Planet Earth. You see him as motherfucking Hourglass. You see it as motherfucking Rick and Morty. You see it as Godzilla. You see it as King Ghidra. You see it as Gnome. You see it as Fairy. You see it as Set. You see it as Satan. You see it as Dark Side. You see it as Los Santisa Mamuete. You see it as El Cristo Negro. <laughs> That's the type of shit we own. And understanding and unlocking and reincorporating your multidimensional aspect that's in everything around you. So fuck you niggas on this, man. The white man, we gotta get back on this shit. I mean, on nigga, what the fuck y'all niggas still talking this bullshit for? What y'all niggas talking about? I told y'all niggas, I am y'all the boss, nigga. Keep talking that y'all the boss shit, nigga. Keep talking this archon shit. You looking at the head archon on this motherfucker, what the fuck you gonna do about it? All I hear is motherfucking identifying some problem for themselves with no solution. Because there is no goddamn solution. But to embody everything. You see what I'm saying? Nigga, all, most of y'all old niggas going to keep rehashing old information to try to see if y'all can get keep passing that shit off as new information amongst dumb niggas. Amongst fool. Nigga, this is the night breed type of shit, nigga. And there's monsters in the media. And I am that monster. I am that villain. I am upsetting the apple cart, nigga. So the more distinction you put on old shit, 